Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Java Game Development. This time around for episode 30 we're going to be covering matrices. A matrix, in OpenGL that is, is a two-dimensional column major array. Column major meaning that instead of going to the right, if you say uh, 5, 0 for example, it goes to the bottom. So uh, 1, 0, instead of being like to the right of the upper left corner, it would be to the bottom of the upper left corner. OpenGL stores an internal matrix which you can modify using commands like GL ortho, GL translate, or GL rotate, or GL your perspective. Now, we've already seen the method GL matrix mode. There are two matrix modes in OpenGL. The first one is projection, and the second one is model view. Now, a matrix can be used to transform vertices to project them onto a 2D space, to translate them to a specific location, to rotate them at a specific angle, to scale them. That's what um, a matrix can do. And in the case of GL model view, it translates, rotates, and scales vertices. Now, in the case of GL projection, OpenGL projects the vertices onto a 2D space. Now that's maybe a little bit vague, so I'm going to elaborate on this. Here's the OpenGL pipeline for a vertex. When you send an OpenGL vertex to OpenGL, wow, I just used OpenGL like two times, sorry, um, then it's in world or object space, which means that, well, it doesn't really mean anything. It's just the coordinates that you use to send the vertex to OpenGL. Then OpenGL translates or OpenGL transforms the vertex by the model view matrix. And then all the uh, GL translate and GL rotate methods, then they will affect the vertex. Model view stands for model and for view. The model is where the model should be, the actual location of the vertex. And view stands for the camera location or actually the inverse of the camera location. So this is where the camera is and where it's looking. Then we send the vertex to projection, or we transform the vertex by the projection matrix, and this projects the vertex onto a 2D space, which you define by commands like GL ortho and GL perspective. It's also worth noting that GL load identity wipes the current internal matrix and replaces it with the identity matrix and that's a matrix that when you transform a vertex by that matrix it will output the vertex. Now what's the difference between GL ortho and GL your perspective? We already know that they affect the projection matrix but we might not yet know what the difference is. So far we've really only used ortho or GL ortho for 2D space, but it can very well be used for 3D space too. Now, the difference is that an orthographic matrix created by GL ortho doesn't have any depth, while a call to GL your perspective or GL frustum creates a 3D a 3D space with authentic depth. So GL your perspective is much more realistic than GL ortho. Now I'll see you in a minute and I'm going to get my demo. Now here we can see the demo application I was talking about. This here is perspective projection. So now you can see depth. That means that everything that is farther away appears smaller and everything that is closer to the camera appears larger. Okay, so this is what we've been using up until now. This is what we've been using from, uh, from episode 15. Now when we switch to orthographic projection, you can see it's not only enlarged by a very large factor, it's also without depth. And you probably can't see that. So here yeah. This is this is what I was talking about. Hmm. Yeah, you can't really zoom out because you can't make the object appear smaller by moving backwards. You see, when I move backwards, this happens. 
not really anything. You can see that the lighting is affected by the distance still, because that's not something that's depending on whether or not it's an orthographic or a perspective matrix. Back to perspective matrix, ah, that's much better. Now for a quick recap, OpenGL uses an internal matrix, which you can modify by using commands like GL ortho or GL translate. There are two matrix modes, which you can switch through by calling GL matrix mode. There is projection, which should be used for GL ortho and GL your perspective. And then there's model view, which should be used for GL translate and GL rotate. An orthographic projection doesn't contain any depth, while a perspective projection does. That concludes episode 30 of Java Game Development. If you have any questions and or remarks, send them to support at thecodinguniverse.com. That's support at thecodinguniverse.com. You can also tweet and or follow me. My Twitter username is thecodinguniverse. Of course, preferably I would have you do both. Visit my website, thecodinguniverse.com, for text versions of most of my tutorials. And if you want to donate to the cause of free online video and text tutorials, aka me, the link will be in the description.